Hi, this is Jeff, and I'm going to perform a short demonstration for you on branching and tagging in Subversion using the Tortoise SVN Subversion client on Windows 10. Let's imagine that you have a Subversion uh, checked-in project, and it's on your desktop, named Project, and it contains some subdirectories and some text files which could just as easily be source code files. If we take a quick look at the text files, this is the original version of text file A and also the original version of text file B. This project is checked out from the repository under its trunk branch. So um, let's say that you wanted to do some development work and you wanted to do that development work and be able to check it into Subversion as you went without affecting the trunk of the project in, Subver in Subversion. What you would do is you would branch it. So here's how you do that. You right-click on the project, you go to Tortoise SVN, and you select Branch Tag. Very simply after that, you add the name of a branch as a subdirectory underneath the trunk. So let's say that this branch is going to be called dev branch. And we'll put in a comment. And we're going to switch the working copy to the new branch and tag right here. Okay, now we have a copy of the project our working copy that is pointed at the dev branch rather than the trunk of the project. Let's see what that looks like in the repo browser. All right, so we have both the trunk copy which has got all of the subdirectories and the two text files. Plus, now it's got a new dev branch. And this is a copy of the, of the original trunk. At this point, it hasn't been changed. And it's got all the text files under it and all that. So the copy that's on our desktop is pointed at this dev branch and not the trunk any longer. So let's make some changes. Let's go in here and say let's change our text file there and while we've got our text file changed let me just delete this backup copy let's also imagine that we had to add a new file to the project while we were at it uh, maybe it's got some new classes or some new functionality so we'll do an SVN add. That'll change the symbol here from a question mark to a plus sign. And you can see that there's an exclamation point over our text file A. That just means that it doesn't match what's in the repository. And you can see that our root of the project, which again is pointed at the dev branch, also has an exclamation point. All right, time for commit. I'm a big proponent of descriptive log messages when you commit something. It helps you figure out what's going on after the fact. Okay, these things have been committed. All right, so now imagine that we have performed all of our development work, we've done all of our quality assurance testing, and we're ready to roll these changes to production. And before we do that, we want the trunk of our development to represent what's in production. So we need to do a merge that's going to put these uh, files into the trunk. So let's do that. First thing that we have to do is we have to switch the project back to the trunk. And that's done by right-clicking, selecting Tortoise SVN, and then going to switch. And then we just delete the slash dev branch after the trunk's name, like that. And 
we'll make that fully recursive and we'll click OK. All right, now we've made our change. And now what we need to do is we need to merge it into the trunk. So we right click and go through Tortoise SVN and select Merge. Now, what I've found is that it works best when you merge two different trees. And what you want to do is you want to start out with the trunk, which is going to be here. You can go to the repo browser to get the right name for it. And let me get the password for this guy. It's not going to really find much of anything here. So the root is called trunk. So let's get that let's get that whole URI because we're going to need it. Uh, apparently we needed to copy. So this is kind of counterintuitive. You want to make your from the root or the trunk, and you want to make your to the branch. And the way that this has been explained to me in the literature, what you're doing is you're telling Subversion to calculate the difference between the trunk, which is what you're pointing at, and the dev branch, and to apply any changes from the dev branch to the trunk. So the way that Subversion implements this is, or rather Tortoise SVN and probably Subversion underneath, is you, you put the, the trunk in the from field and the dev branch in the to field. Can't tell you how many times I've messed that up. Um, anyway, it works, so let's just do it. All right, from what I am told, you can expect to just accept the defaults in this and pretty much it'll work. And let's see what happens. Okay, so now if we go into the project, what you will see is we have an uncommitted version of the project that is pointed at the trunk, and we can verify that by pointing and just take a look at the switch command here. And right now it will tell you that where it's at right now is under trunk. All right, this is an uncommitted version. Notice that there's an exclamation point over text file A and that there's a plus symbol over text file C because technically under the trunk, these are new additions. What we've done is we've merged our changes to the trunk from the branch, all right? But the trunk still exists in subversion the way that it was. We've just used the, uh, the Tortoise SVN utility to bring those changes to the trunk. So if we go into look at the text file, you can see that it is the new version. And of course, there's a plus symbol over text file C because that never existed under the original trunk. So what we do here is we do a commit. And click OK. All right, you'll see that it modified the project, it deleted the dev branch, it uh, modified the text file, and it added, or text file A, and it added text file C, and then it shipped the whole thing up to the subversion repository. So now we have a checked in version of our project that is pointed at trunk that has all of the modifications that were made in the dev branch. And for our final check what we're going to do is we're going to look at the repo browser and we're just going to have a look see at what exists in the repo browser now 
you'll notice that where there was before a subdirectory under trunk called dev branch that has now disappeared from the repository and the only thing in the repository now is the trunk there's no branch anymore and it's got the modified version of the text file a and it has the new text file c Thanks for watching my demonstration of how to do branching and merging in Subversion using Tortoise SVN on Windows 10.